Hey guys, Amy here, and I want to share the ultimate enshrouded mining guide with you. Alright, so the first part of the game, you'll be dealing with very few resources. Basically, all you have is all your land is covered with a top layer of dirt. And then below that, you have a layer of stone. Obviously, we're going to use stone for everything. Dirt, you don't use it for so much now, but you will later on. Alright, next we have is rubble. This only has one use in the game, and that's for cut stone blocks. Next, we have mycelium. You don't use this a whole lot until a couple recipes later on, but this is only in the shrouded areas. Alright, so in the first part of the game, the only metals you'll be dealing with is scrap metal. And you'll eventually be making a scrappy pickaxe, but if you ever run short on these scrap metals, you can always come where you got the blacksmith and break these metal things and you'll have an unlimited supply of scrap metal. You get three every time you break one of these. And the last resource we have in the beginning of the game is salt. And this is used throughout the entire game. And can only be farmed from one area. So this is where you farm salt. This is your first time farming salt. You most likely don't have a glider yet. You'll want to bring any kind of stamina buffs and also a travel reduction potion if you have one. When you're leaving, you want to give yourself at least two minutes of shroud time left. Another option, there's a shroud route just north of the salt that you can destroy and teleport out. Believe it or not, you'll be using salt for everything. You even used to make black powder. You also use them all kinds of cooking and many other things. Always make sure you stock up on the salt. From the beginning of the game, make sure you keep all your blacksmith quests so you can make a scrappy pickaxe and you can move on to the next major biome. All right, so you made it to Revelwood. Now it's time to find out about all the amazing resources in this biome. Spike can be found north of the starting location in the heavily forested biome. Looks like this, like a bright orange color. White is a really great resource to have, and if you like to build, you're gonna need a ton of it. Alright, so I marked several locations on the map that have clay. Hopefully this is helpful for you. One thing to keep in mind, clay is strictly limited to this biome, so if you ever need it, you gotta come back here. Alright, next we have copper, and this is what it looks like. Basically, yeah, your, your copper and green color with the little knobs on it. This is when the game starts to get really fun. Yeah, once you start farming copper, you start to get all kinds of recipes to make all kinds of stuff, and the game gets really crazy. Here we have many locations in Revelwood where you can find copper.
Also keep in mind, copper is not only in Revelwood, it, you will find it in the other biomes for the rest of the game. All right, next resource is Amber. This resource is only in the shrouded area. You probably won't even know it exists. They have a recipe calling for it because it's pretty well hidden. As I know, Amber is only in this biome in shrouded area. Yes, and also there's a lot of orange colors in the shrouded area. You just make sure you find the right one. Here we have marked all the known amber locations that we have found in Revelwood. All right, the last resource we have in this biome, Luna Scrub. Can't really miss this one. It's big, bright, and blue. You can see this thing is loaded with it. So far, the only recipe I've found for this material is building blocks. But this stuff sure does make some really nice building blocks. It makes it a nice, bright, shiny blue gray. Alright, we marked all the known locations that we found luminous growth in in this biome. Alright, well you keep having fun out there and we wish you luck in preparation for the next biome. Alright guys, make sure you do your blacksmith quest and make your copper pickaxe. I'll catch you on the next side of the world on the next video. Thanks for watching.